Hey guys, what's up? So in today's video, we will be getting less than 60 FPS, but you know, that's not what we're actually focusing on. Um, so what we're actually focusing on is this uh, storage system I've made. Um, it's a three level storage system. And uh, I guess the, all there is to show is how it works. Uh, first I want to show off is the door. I made a simple, um, 3x3 three three hipster door. Um, all it is is three a flying machine side by side. And, um, so, well, I guess we'll just grab, oh, chess isn't one of them yet, no. Okay, so we'll just grab some of the blocks. And now that we've grabbed these blocks, so 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, and 20. And in fact, uh, I guess we'll grab some of these blocks too. And then, and, yeah, there we go. And then, so, as you can see, there's 20 there, 20. 21 21 21 21 21 21 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 and 20 so as you can see all the none of them go past 22. Now we'll put these in here and go back up here and grab some of these again because apparently you didn't grab these. Now that what you were just hearing was the was actually the um the uh item elevator going now we'll let that go so it's grabbed everything and it's got everything now we'll check these so 21 21 oops 21 21 22 21 21 21 20 since i didn't grab that well, well, I did, but it it got rid of it for some reason. So I didn't. So get it. I didn't put that in. Didn't put that in. Put one of those in. Put one of those in. Didn't put anything that in. Put one in. But yeah, as you can see, it works perfect. It per it works perfectly. Um. That's really all I want to show you with this one. Um, I do have some other builds I want to show. And um, I guess we'll cut to those builds right after showing off the outside of this. And yeah, so well, I guess we'll just cut to the next build. Hey guys, so this is the other, the next build. Um, the reason why I said it tonight is because of the lighting. Um, so this is just a, another variation of, this is just another storage system. Um, this actually stores more items than the one over there. Because this has three rows, but the, instead of the, I think, eight rows over there, um, there's, if I remember correctly, 12 rows over here. That or it's 10. So yeah, it stores, I'd say, a, it, it stores, assuming it's 10, and that means it stores 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 more items than, the one, than that one over there. Um, but yeah, so, if we just grab some of the items, Generally the same items. Um, there are a few items that I didn't have over at the other short system that I do here. Um, 
simply because I decided I just didn't want to. Eh, I'm not sure. I'm not really sure. Yes, to put this in. Yeah, okay. And then we'll fill up my hot bar. Oops. Dang it. Making sure to grab every item I can. May actually be that it's nine and instead of what I thought, it, instead of the 10 that I think it is. But I but this one uses hoppers to transport all the items, so it really can't fail. As you can see, you know, what, let's put let's just put a bunch of stone in, and we can watch it fill in. See? Now we can grab a bunch of Forked stem and crimson stem, and this will also work. May take a bit to get over here, but it should work. Wait, which should I put in first? Put in crimson first, so we have to look at the crimson one first, and it's filling in. And this one should start filling in not too long. Um, I hope I'm being loud enough because I really don't want to have to re record this. Um, but yeah, so. Should be getting over here soon. Yep, there we go. And I guess we can just let that go. And as you can see, it this uh, goes up here, and th and the items are dispensed into this. And as they go over these, and as the items go through these hoppers over these hoppers, they'll only go in to these hoppers if it's the item that's in the hopper. So for this hopper, this hopper will only accept dirt. So anything that isn't dirt will just go will just keep going in the chain. And also I have it I've set it up so that any items that aren't and that aren't um supposed to be in it um won't actually end up backing it up. So I guess we'll we'll just grab a bunch of items and we'll put them in there. No just so that there we go that way we no. now we go over here this is the chest that takes everything that isn't actually a part of the store that isn't an item that's in the storage system And this stuff just, and the reason why, oh, you can still hear it, it's just we weren't far enough away. I was about to say, and the reason why you can't hear it is because it's all going through here. Now, if we were to go out to one of these hoppers, you can see items going through. And since... There's, I'm over 80 over here, There's and there's no reason to actually cut. Um, that'll just, let's grab a redstone torch. And I'll show off this. So, which block was it again? Okay, so it's this block. So, if I place that there, it destroys the redstone torch and closes that up. If I place it again, it opens. And this one... I mean, this could easily be a smaller design, I think. I, oh wait, no, this is a small design. Um, what I've done, it because I don't have redstone here, I'm just using 
or target blocks here. Um, I'm using repeat because this way you can't actually see anything that's part of it except for the pistons. So the way I've done that is using the repeaters into this block which powers these pistons. And so yeah. Um, I also made this while, do, while just messing around. Which it actually allowed me to make that over there. Because it gives you two pulses with the press of one button. Which I mean you can do that just by putting a button on the face or of the observer, but eh, I didn't think I didn't. Well, I guess I just didn't want to do that. Hmm. Seem to have found a glass paint. Um. So yeah, that I can just get rid of that. But this is like like an armor equipping station. Um. Oh, it's not filled. Give me a sec. I didn't realize it wasn't filled. And bow. There we go. I know it really doesn't matter what order you put it this stuff in and I just like want to put it in that order. So now that it's filled, the reason why it wouldn't uh, start up is because what I, wait, actually I don't know why it wouldn't start. Should have started, oh, this, I guess it's just because this one is empty. I don't know, whatever, um, no. Okay, so we're doing redstone in the video, which I... Oh yeah, I forgot! I was trying to make a levitating button, but never got around to doing that. For this build. Now does it want to work? No, no it doesn't. Of course not. Why would it work? Definitely doesn't make sense that it would work. Uh, this is annoying. I guess I'll just have to put the button lower and fix it some other time. Since I don't have the time to be uh, to be fighting with this. Uh, okay, so now we can do it. Oh come on, that's not. Okay, now what's going on? It's not doing things right. What is happening? Hmm. Maybe it's gotta be. Let's try this. So, if I put this here, put that there, power that, do, do that, um, maybe that'll work. Uh, arm, more. Uh, there we go. Oh, it put out the... Uh, leggings while I... Okay, now why isn't... Still not working. What is going on? Uh... Huh. Let's try this. Um... Slab... There we go. Now it should work. I really don't want to end up having to fight with this. Please tell me it works. Oh, come on. Okay, so I'm going to cut the video right here. And we're, I'm going to deal with this off camera. Okay, so I figured out what the issue is. Actually, I didn't really. I just rearranged some stuff and it worked. Also I had to get rid of the pickaxe because it seemed to be that I couldn't get this the pulse to stay long enough for it to uh, put out um, the eight items. Also I think I can actually 
Um, do that, and it'll and it should still work. I don't think the it actually affected anything. Yep, that's everything. So yeah, it's an armor equipping station that also gives you your weapons. Now, let's see, I think my armor equipping station that I made probably isn't too far away. Uh, yeah, no, it's a D. Nope, nope, it's right over here. Sorry if this video is, get, is getting a little long. I've made a fair amount of stuff so far, whether it's the, the use of the tutorials or not. First thing I want to show is this. So I made this. It's, it sends pulses down without having sticks, without the use of slabs. Um, I, I just call it the birch redstone signal, but going down. So vertical redstone signal, but going down. Um, but yeah, this is for this, um, which I've managed to condense down into a small area. So as you can see, this pulse is going right now. And that is because this is taking is getting a redstone signal from this dispenser because this dispenser has items in it. If you were to take the items out of that dispenser, this wouldn't be going. Now, let me press this button. We'll just get equipped up with our items. Whoops. I stepped away too soon. Um, but we get equipped with our items. But when you press this button, I think it should store. Yeah, when you press that button, all it does is it pushes this piston out for long enough so that it dispenses all the items. In fact, I think I might actually make a thing to keep you here. Until it's done dispensing items, that way, um, that way, don't run into the issue where you end up having to put on armor because you got out too soon. Um, but yeah, so it, this is my armor equipping station that I made. This armor equipping station is actually my design, and. Then I also made this over here, which is an, another armor equip, which is another uh, equipping station. Stuff didn't fire. Yeah, because I don't have luck. I don't have boots. And the this was supposed to give you what? Okay, stuff's not working right. I really do hope I can solve whatever the issue is here now. Um, but with the map time we're taking up, I don't think that's going to be possible. Uh, so I'll just cut to the next thing I want to show you, and yeah. So this is the next thing I want to show you. It may look like just a house, but if we go over here and grab our subscribe key card and we throw it on this block right here, it's taken in and the door opens. And we're giving back our key, our subscribe key card. And in here, we just have your normal stuff, chests, uh, um, all the stuff you might need, along with an ender chest and a crafting table. Also, this is literally just because at one point um, I didn't have it so that mobs spawning was off, and because of that, um unwanted mobs would spawn, so I just had that sword to kill off any unwanted mobs. Um, but yeah, so this is, um, actually, no, this is the version that 
is down there. Because that, I decided this wasn't compact enough, so I decided to compact it down even more. Um, so what it does is this picks up the key card, it, it goes down through here, into here, which is just a um, simple um, redstone key card thingy. Um, what is it called? I guess it's just called a key card. I'll just call it a key card thingy. Um, so your key card, it goes through here, so th because of that extra key card, this sends out a signal here, lighting this one up, and this, which in turn, um, lights this up, uh, well, sends a signal into this, which sends a signal into this pulse extender, which sends that pulse that's been extended through into this, um, Redstone repeater, which sends the pulse into this block, which in, which um, lights up this redstone, going and the signal travels through here into this repeater, turning into this block that the um, torch is on, turning the torch off, and in turn turning this off, this repeater the, in turn cutting off the signal to this repeater. And because of that, this torch turns on. Because this torch, and this torch, when it turns on, op opens the door. And the, all the pulse extenders, therefore, is to give you time to actually go through the door. And you might say, but Alpha AFK. Someone can simply just open the wood door. And to that I say, the hope, that's not the point. It doesn't matter that someone can just open the door. The point is, is well, that's a, that's a cool keycard door that can be used for anything you might need. But yeah, so the keycard is sent through, or whatever you've used, or whatever you want to call it, is sent from here it, through these hoppers into this dispenser, well, dropper. Um, I'll just grab a random item to show this at work. So it travels through the dispensers down up here, where you can then pick it up. And that's really all it is. And then I want to show off this. This I made using a tutorial. Um, so, can't remember. No, it wasn't like that. It's like that? No. That, yeah. And then this one needs to be upside down? No. Right. Okay, so that one's still on. Okay, so that one's lit up. Oh yeah, I never did anything with this one. Forgot. So yeah, so that's this. Um simple design i didn't um actually what i all i did was i made it so that you would you could have them at angles to each other like that so if you want to you could even have it being like that and that being the uh, the way it works um but yeah so that's really all i want to show off with this one and uh we'll cut We'll go to the next uh, contraption. Okay, so this is the next contraption using the um, the uh, what would you call this? I don't actually know, but this is a four x four um, flush piston door that well you can't go through because you're not in spectator mode. But real no, but um really so if you do that and then there we go. So that's what I made that one. And it, when you put in that, you're able to go through. Now if I were to even do that and that doesn't matter what you do. This one has to be facing that way. And this one has to be facing that way. 
And this literally is just using the same design from over there. Just, I managed to get it right beside each other. Using some redstone that, um, I can't even imagine how I managed to come up with. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm actually quite surprised that I managed to come up with that. But, um, yeah. So, uh, I'll cut to the next, uh, contraption. So this is the next contraption, so I got tired of waiting because no one was sending me ideas for the 3x3 piston door I could put here, or, well, 3x3 door that I could put here, so I decided that, well, I just woke up a tutorial and go by that. So obviously I didn't make this myself. I'm not that smart. I, I'm not smart enough to be able to come up with this, but it's a simple 3x3 piston door. Well, if you can even call a 3x3 piston door simple. So it's kind of hard to show off. Um, actually, I think I have a mod. I, yeah, here's what I, the, the design that I ended up using, I think. Give me a sec, let me, actually, I don't know if that's the design I used. Um, so let's see. That is the design that I used. Okay, so yeah. So I did actually come up with this one. I thought I used a tutorial for this, but no. I actually came up with this design. So what this is using is... So, this, which I did do, I showed off in one of my other videos, is a, um, hipster door that I, that I made using a tutorial. If you would like me to do a tutorial on this, so that you who can uh, do make this too, because I think I found this on Reddit. I can't. I think um, was it on Reddit? I found it. I can't remember where I found it. Um, but yeah, so I used this design over here with this middle part, and then and then after that it was just simple with the pit. It was just. All I had to do is use the pistons. Also, I realized something that now kind of annoys me. So, I've been using the same design for a while now. Where you've got a piston. You've got a block on the piston. You got you don't have to do anything with this. Um, and then, you place another piston or whatever, and you do that, and when you send a redstone signal through, it gives you a one pulse, but I realize something, I don't even have to do that, I can just use an observer for this, or at least I think so, wait, no, I couldn't use an observer for this, could I? Let's see. No, I couldn't because this turns off. So I take that back. Cause that's but yeah, if you if you know a smaller version of the a uh, smaller cheap flip flop, which I think is what this is, um please please link the video a video to a tutorial for it so I can start so I can start using that T flip flop in my builds instead of this. If it's a smaller T flip flop that you found, that is. Um, what's this? Oh yeah, that's what that is. Yeah, this is from when I was testing out trying to come up with my own design to for, for that. Um, but yeah, so I do want to ask you guys to do something for me. I want you guys to leave in the comments down below ideas for what I could fill this space up with. Um, mob, so, uh, chicken, fa uh, chicken farm, bamboo farm, kelp farm, stuff like that. Um, nothing too big and nothing too laggy, because as you can see, the most I've gotten so far is like 67, 68. Like at most, I can probably get at the yeah 70. FPS, not a lot of FPS. 
it's even worse over here. Um, but yeah, so not a lot of FPS, so nothing too laggy. But I would like some ideas for what I could fill up that area with. Um, but yeah, so let's head over here to, uh, I think my second to last contraption. And this is just a big piston door. That's really loud. And it automatically closes behind you. So the way this works is... Honestly, I know I did the rest of myself, but I don't even know... I don't even know how I did it. Um... Um... I'm not mumbo jumbo, so I'm not sure how to explain this. If my, if even mumbo jumbo could explain the confusing redstone I've done here, because I can't. Um, but yeah. So what it does, uh, in, in the end, all that all that confusing redstone does down there is make it so is power this stuff, so that this stuff turns off. Therefore, turning these lamps off, sending. And these observers send a pulse suit into these pistons. I can, yeah, I'm not sure why that does that. But, uh, but then it, the, um, when these, when the pulse extender finally turns off, uh, because I do have a pulse extender, when it finally turns off, these turn back on. Therefore, sending another signal through the observers and in, into the pistons. And we can show that again. So, yeah, when it, so these turn back on when, yeah. Also, I'm not sure why, what is it? That one, why, I'm not sure why that one's staying on. Let's see. Oh, yeah, it's probably because of that. And it turns off and then back on. So that's fine. Um, and we'll just show off the other two builds. Well, one failed build, one failed contraption and one actually working contraption. So, this is literally just a shower. Like, very simple to make. Button press, sends a signal through there, to there, to there, and, and there, and into this observer. And it, which goes into this disc, which sends a signal into this dispenser, and the, sending water out. And then when the redstone turns off, um, the observer sends another signal through the observe through the dispenser to turn to collect the water. So we can see that. Yeah. And now we'll show off my failed build. So this was supposed to be a multi except uh this was supposed to accept multiple items, key cards, but the problem I was coming I, I was finding myself in is it would keep taking from this first slot and not the slots that I wanted it to take from. Now this could probably, now um, I, I am going to fix this and uh, make a version of, the, of this that does work, but not in today's video, since today's video is already gonna be like 20 minutes long. Um, but I do wanna show off this. So this is a useless machine because um, it's actually kind of sad. So what happened was I really wanted to make a useless machine that I built on my Wii U world, where what on my redstone world that I have on the Wii U. Um, but you can't push and pull, but you can't push and pull buttons and levers on the on the PC Java edition like you can on the Wii U Java edition. And because of that, I wasn't able to do what I wanted to do. In this design, it sends a signal into this piston. Uh, this observer observes it, um, sending a signal there, which um, turns off this piston. Um, I'll show you why this needs to be at that three tick. So when I press that, it literally does nothing because the pulse isn't there for long enough. Three ticks is the long, is the shortest pulse you can have. See? Oh, well, without it doing that, where it goes back and forth like that. 
which I didn't want. But what I wanted to happen was when you press the button, what I wanted to happen, what, well, I wanted you to be able to press, I wanted the button to be pressed right there. Um, not sure what happened there, but whatever. Um, I wanted the button to be right here, and you press it. And what happens is this block gets pulled back and pulled away, and then a piston co comes up from somewhere, whether from the sides or up or down, and and it's a sticky piston, and it pulls the button back. There, me um destroying the button because this button goes back to an open space. But I can't do that, and I'll show you why. So I'll grab this sticky piston. I'll grab this button. But when you do that, on Java Edition, uh, for uh, Wii U, this piston would be pulling that button. And then I also tried, uh, I think, and then I also tried using a slime block. Much, I didn't, I think slime blocks and honey blocks will probably do the same thing. But yeah, it doesn't pull it. Neither will it pull it with the honey block. Now, Mojang, if you're watching this video, please fix that. I'd really like to be able to make the uh, useless machine that I made on my Wii U world. Because right now, this isn't enough. This is too simple for me. I want to make, I want to have giant contraption that fills up, that I'd probably end up making me destroy this. Because it's too big. <laughs> No, but seriously, like the on my Wii U world, that thing was huge. I'd, pro I'd say maybe a good 12 by 12 blocks in height and width. Um, not sure, I wouldn't say 12 blocks in height, but 12 or more blocks in width, I think. Actually, probably around from here to here, which may be 12 blocks. It was, a, it was pretty big. And granted, I mean, Wii U is stuck in, um, the aquatic update, so it makes sense since the Wii U never got um, blocks like the target block, which are you, which are really useful re for redstone right now. Um, but I think that's everything. I guess I'll go through looking, seeing what there is, see if I missed anything. Um, I think I kept everything on this side of this area. Yeah, I did. Okay. If you want to see what this stuff is, uh, go back and you should be able to find find it. It should be my last redstone video. Um, that's everything, I think. Um, yeah, there are two things I want to show off before I end the video here. So, I've got this, which was what I wrote. Which, before making that, I used this to see if it would work. Um, the, so the way it works is, let's get some water. So water, um, place the water to there, place water there. Actually, we don't really, we really don't need the water there, that's here. Forgot, does that. Um. So, let's just get some blocks. Four should be good. Now, let's power this. And because the, w the reason why that's there is so that the block gets pushed right here. And on and so that it travels through and on the, um, the hoppers. Okay, so everything's there. So now, if I go here, it's all collected in this chest because I don't actually... I actually had to change up the design some because I wasn't going to be able to fit all of that and still have this. And still be able to have this design, which I like. Um, which sucks, but it's fine. Uh, and then, I also wanted to show up this. I didn't come up with this. I this design someone else did I, I'm not sure who was the first one to come up with this um, it's cool all I did here was just make it 
take it from this one, which I swear I remember being the one that I saw. No, it was this one that I saw, but I made this because this is what I thought uh, I first saw. And then I just took it down. So I took it from 4x4 four four blocks to 3x3 three three, to a 2x2 to a two two, and down to a 1x1. One one. And I know this isn't redstone, but I still wanted to make it. Um, but yeah, that's really everything I have to show off. Uh, sorry this video is so long. I know it's probably like 25 to maybe even 30 minutes. Um, but yeah, so, uh, leave any ideas you have for future redstone projects that I could do. And, uh, redstone contraptions that I could put in that little area, um, where is it? Uh, yeah, the air, the, um, little lab, I guess, that's, um, uh, yeah, that's at the bottom of the elevator here. And just, yeah, leave any ideas you have in, in the comments below. Um, I'll, I read every comment, especially because of the fact that, especially because of the fact that I get so few comments. Like, um, I, most of my videos don't even have a comment, so don't even have a single comment on them. Um, or at least, and actually I get, I, I'm pretty sure I commented the most of my videos just adding extra things I forgot to put in the description. Um, but yeah, so, like, subscribe, put any idea, put, and like, subscribe, ring the bell, and put any ideas you have in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.